show you how to put it in the ground outside if you want to do that instead of a delivery or just to add to your other balloon decorations. What you need for this one is six goldenrod yellow 260s and six mocha brown 260s or chocolate brown, like the darker brown, which I like to use. I think that would look really cool, but I don't think it'll show up really well in a tutorial. And two spring green 260s and one green 350. And if you wanna put your flower in the ground, you need a four or five or however tall or short you want your flower, half inch conduit, you can find at any hardware store. You also need some type of colored duct tape. This is like a spring green matching colored duct tape. Your goldenrod 260s are going to have two finger tails and your spring green 260 and your spring green 350 are going to have two finger tails and your brown balloons in the center are all going to have eight finger tails. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start with the center of our flower. For this, take your mocha brown or your chocolate brown 260 with an eight finger tail, let a little puff of air out of it, and we're gonna start with five pinch twisted cherry tomato sized bubbles. So pull and turn, nice little round bubbles. Pull this up and turn it, make another pinch twist. Squeeze the air up towards the end if it's getting too tight. And three pinch twists. This is gonna create those little, the little bubbly part in the center of the flower. And then five, kind of spin that around. So you have what looks like a little flower with five bubbles. And then we're gonna need a two finger bubble, another two finger bubble. I'm gonna kind of hold it and make five more pinch twists. So one, little cherry tomato size bubbles. And if there's too much air, just kind of squeeze it up towards the end. Three, a four, spin it around, and five. And then, Sit those side by side so it looks like a little flower. Like this. And then we're gonna run this part down here. And then down into the center of, of these ones. Bring it up around, tuck it back in, and we need just three sections right here. So run it back down like this, spin it around, and I'm gonna cut and tie this off. So if like, you don't wanna pop and tie this off, just mush the air out of the very end, nip it, and let it down to just as much air as it is it in this bubble. Uh, and I'm gonna let it out and tie it. And then bring it up to here and wrap it into that little flower thing. So this is like the center part. And then we're gonna build our flower petals around this thingy and then just set that aside. Okay, let's take your next Mocha Brown 260 with the eight finger tail, and we're going to start with cherry tomato size bubble, and then make two more cherry tomato size bubbles and pinch twist them. So you have this. And then one more cherry tomato size bubble, and then two more cherry tomato size bubbles and pinch twist them. Basically what we want is one cherry tomato size bubble to start with and then six sets of little pinch twisted cherry tomato size bubbles. So here's another one. This is my third spacer bubble. And then another set of two cherry tomato size pinch twisted bubbles. <laughs> That's a lot to say. One, two, three, and then another spacer bubble and two more cherry tomato size pinch twisted bubbles. See if you can say that 20 times. Cherry tomato size pinch twisted bubbles. Cherry tomato size pinch twisted bubbles. Kind of hard to do. <laughs> okay. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, one more set. So it's gonna take us almost right up to the end of our balloon. Another spacer bubble. And then 
two more cherry tomato size bubbles. And then this is pretty tight. What we're gonna squeeze the air right up to the end and nip the top. Let that kind of seep out so that it doesn't go bang. Okay, back that out and then I'm gonna wrap it around here, pull it up and tie it, and then this is gonna go in a circle. So I'm gonna pull this little spacer bubble up to the pinch twisted bubble and wrap it around. See if you can grab that other end. And just wrap it around real good. This one needs to be tight because it's gonna go over the center of our flower. And I'm gonna tie it two times. And then I'll spin this last one and kind of flip it through to make sure it's tight. So you have this with these six little sets of pinch twists. This is what this looks like. This little, looks like a little donut. And then repeat that. Do the same exact thing again. I'm gonna set this down and do it again. Okay, set your other little donut thing down and let's pick up one of your golden rod 260s with a two finger tail. Make sure it's nice and mushy and wrap this knot right between one of the sets of pinch twists. And then let's make a spacer bubble to layer on top of the brown spacer bubble and take it right into the crease of the next set of pinch twists. So you have this. And now we're gonna go right up to the end, mush this down a little bit, grab this nub, and this would be the third set of pinch twists from where we just started. And we're gonna pull it and wrap it right into this pinch twist. A little set. I'm gonna spin this pinch twist around too. I put the back one in the front and the front and the back of, of the mocha brown pitch twist so it doesn't come undone. And then we want to hold this, bring it up here, make sure it's kind of even because I'm going to get two petals out of this. It might look good with really long petals, but I'm going to make shorter petals for the sunflower in a big middle. Okay, so make a little spacer bubble, roll this around to match this mocha brown one. So a cherry tomato size spacer bubble on the top, push this down and twist the petals right into the creases of the pinch twist. And flip it around. So you have this, it looks like bunny ears. I'm gonna just kind of flatten them out like that. And then take your next 260 with a two finger tail and plate it the whole way with a little mush, uh, make it a little mushy before you let some air out of it. And wrap the knot right up next to that goldenrod. We would just want kind of goldenrod balloon going the whole way around to match so everything matches up. Make a little spacer bubble, wrap it around that set of pinch twists. And we're gonna do the same thing basically three times. So we have this, and go to the end, mush the air out, go to the next set of pinch twists, wrap it around, and then go up to the end here, pull it like this, and then roll it. So there's this little cherry tomato size bubble, pull this down, wrap it around the pinch twist, do the same thing in the back. And pull your petals up. I'm going to it like that. You can curve your petals, but I was going to show you that after it's done. Hold here and here and just kind of bend it and squeeze up at the top. Hold here and here, squeeze up at the top and it curves your petals out. Kind of cute. Okay, and for the last set of petals, what you want to do is go over where there's not a spacer bubble already layered on top of the mocha brown little spacer bubble. See these pinch twist, pinch twist, and then this one doesn't have like a layered spacer bubble. So we're gonna take our last golden rod 260 and wrap the knot around the bottom of this petal. Make a little cherry tomato size bubble spacer bubble and wrap it into the mocha brown pinch twist. Just so that there's like a layer of golden rod spacer bubbles laying on top of each mocha one. Go up to the end and then take this little nub and wrap it around like this and then go up 
and straighten it out and roll this around so you have your little cherry tomato size bubble spacer bubble. Bring it down, same like you did with the other ones, and wrap it into the set of pinch twists. And if you want to curve your petals, go for it. Just grab here and here and curve, and in here and here and curve. So one pinch twist of the mocha brown should be in the back and one should be in the front of each petal. And you have this, basically, all we're gonna do is this, repeat it. So let's do that again. Okay, after you have your petals done, you want to take both sets of flowers and we're gonna push them over the center core part. So, push this in the center, through the center. And basically what we need to do is stagger. You can turn the balloon a little. So you have a set of petals in between each one of the back petals. So okay, push these together. Make sure your mocha brown pinch twist you're sitting up in the front so your petals aren't coming forward too much but we want to stagger the petals so the back layer is right in between the space like this go around and fix your petals kind of stagger them so it looks like this you're going to take your mocha brown 260 with the eight finger tail and basically we're going to weave it around each one of these mocha brown pinch twists. So we're going to wrap the end around one of the mocha brown pinch twists. Doesn't matter which one. This will give it that nice big bubbly center like you see on a sunflower. So I'm twist it around so it's nice and tight there. Okay, and then we're gonna make a spacer bubble. I don't know if I can do this like this from behind, but I'll try. Look in the camera and do it. Make a spacer bubble, wrap it around one of the mocha brown pinch twists, and if it has an eight finger tail and it's mushy, you should be able to do it. So see how that's there? Squeeze the air up because it's getting a little tight. Go over top of the goldenrod one. Spin it around really good if, if the air is leaking out. And you like leaking into the other part of the balloon. Wrap it around that mocha brown pinch twist. Like this, and we're gonna work our way around the balloon. So space your bubble around this mocha brown one. Squeeze the air out a little bit. Spacer, like a mocha brown, cherry tomato size spacer bubble. Working around this pinch fist. And two more. One bubble. And there. And another one. Work that around. And now you might be okay with this. Like we could pop and tie that off and that looks pretty cute. But I like to layer it one more time because I like the big bubbly center of the sunflower. If you look at a regular sunflower, that's kind of what it looks like. So I'm gonna make another spacer bubble and go around the mocha brown pinch twist the whole way around the flower one more time. I mean, you think I'm crazy, but it gives it a nice effect. Okay. Face your bubble, wrap it around the pinch twist. I'm doing the same exact thing that I just did 
it's only I'm going around it one more time and I'm kind of layering it this time right here and here right on the inside and I'm gonna go the whole way around again them up so you can see them because it looks nice I have two more speedster bubbles to go right around there and I think this would look really nice with that chocolate brown but it would be really hard to see what I'm doing whenever I show you with the tutorials with the black balloon and the really dark mocha brown one or not mocha brown but the dark brown ones it's, it's hard to tell what I'm doing so this very last because you can't see like the bubbles they all run together and then the very last bubble I'm gonna pop and tie this off But I'm gonna like not let it out the whole way. I'm gonna go down to just one spacer bubble like this. Okay, yeah, now you can put it on your stem. You could just put, cause there is a little center part. If it was going on a 350 or a 260, let me show you. Pretend this is the 350 or 260 stem. You would just take it right in here. Pull the knot. See where, where that crease is? Pull the knot. I'm pretending this is a stem now. And wrap it around and twist it. And that's how you get it just on the stem, just to have it on the stem. But I'm gonna stick this on the conduit pole to put outside. So if you are doing like yard art, you wanna think about this. You wanna keep it nice and visible from both sides of the balloon. So maybe you don't want to, it's up to you, maybe you don't want to curve these if you're going to see the balloon from the back side of it too. And all you would want to do is do the same exact thing on the back side. You would take this knot on a mocha brown pinch twist, go the whole way around and do two layers with this balloon just like I did here. Then it's going to look the same in the back as it does in the front. And then, then from every angle, your balloon will look the same. So, pick one of these areas and that's where you're going to put the stem on. Maybe where there's a little space opening. So, let's put it on our stem. See what it looks like. Now I'm going to show you how to tape the conduit pole to put in the ground. For a sunflower, you wanna pull at least four foot tall. Um, you could go taller, I'd probably go taller, but I have a four foot pole here. You wanna at least probably go five foot tall or whatever you want for your flower. It could be down shorter. It just depends what you want and what kind of look you wanna have. But this one's four foot tall, so you wanna take your colored duct tape and this is how I do it. Pull this out and I'm gonna prop it up here. It's kind of hard to show you with just me, but I'm gonna show you anyway. You don't wanna tape like the end that you're pounding in the ground. You wanna kind of leave that uncovered so it's sharper. I'm gonna leave this out about a half inch over the top and kind of push it down right in the middle. Can you see what I'm doing here? Just push it flat right in the middle. Try to aim that right in the center and then pull it down. See how I'm pushing it and kind of pulling it? Be really careful you don't mess up your tape. And pull it the whole length of your pole. You can have somebody help you, you know, like somebody else pulling the uh, tape or holding the pole. But I'm going to do this all by myself to show you. So we don't want to go up the whole way to the end. Get a pair of scissors. It's a little hard to rip off at this point. I'm gonna go down maybe about like a hand's length down. Like that. And see how this is like this? You just wanna start smoothing that out from the middle. Smooth it out like this. Push. Like that, it'll be nice and smooth the whole way down the pole. Push out from the middle around the sides. So push from the middle to the sides. And do that the whole way down your pole. 
So then all you really need are two long strips. You're gonna have to keep twirling in circles to cover your pole. Just kind of push it, push it down around, the whole way down the pole. And then, I mean, it could be a little bit wrinkled. Up at the top anyway, the flower is gonna be on there so you won't see it. But it makes your poles look really nice. This is how I usually do it. Like that. And then I'm gonna take another long piece right over the center of this bare side. Leave it up a little bit because this is where your balloon's gonna go on. So it kind of serves as a uh, protector for your balloon so it doesn't pop your balloon. And you lay that right over, push it in the middle, right over the part that is showing. It doesn't have to be exactly, you know, straight up and down. You could still pull it up and adjust it. Just push it down in the middle. You just wanna cover that bare part in the back. And two uh, pieces, one on each side is plenty to cover your pole. And then do the same thing, push it down from the middle, start at the top, should have started at the top. I'm just gonna bend this around and tape it. Make sure you don't have like loose sticky tape sticking out so it doesn't pop your balloon. And just kind of push it down, push, push it down from the center. and work your way the whole way up the pole. Keep pushing right from the center out to the sides. Like this. Now I'm gonna show you how to put the leaves on your green pole for outside and also your 350 just to have as a balloon without the pole. What you need for this one are two spring green 260s. Let's start with a cherry tomato sized bubble on each balloon and pinch twist it. Pull the knot to turn it. I'm gonna wrap this in and tie it just so it doesn't come undone. And do the same thing on your other balloon. Make another cherry tomato sized bubble and pinch twist that. That's gonna hold your leaves in place so they don't flop around too much. Do it on the other balloon too. So you have two pinch twists on each balloon. Now make however wide of a stem that you're gonna put your balloon flower on. If you're putting it on 350, make a five finger bubble right now. And if you're putting it on this conduit pole, just make a cherry tomato size bubble. So this is either a five finger bubble for the 350 or a cherry tomato or however big your pull is for your stem. So there's a cherry tomato sized bubble and then you're gonna wrap the other two pinch twists around that little crease. And then we're gonna take the longer one, which is the one I just wrapped in, the new balloon, place it on the pull and wrap it back. You can add the leaves on later and just push it through the pull right through the middle, but I'm gonna put it on now. Go up to the end where this little thing is and wrap it in and I'm gonna tie it just because this one's gonna be outside. And if it was just on the balloon for delivery or just to make for someone, you could just wrap it around a couple times, but who knows if it's gonna be windy or whatnot. So I'm gonna wrap it in and tie it around the knot. Then you wanna take your leaves, hold them like this and this, Kind of squeeze up one way and squeeze up the other way at the end, like kind of like an S shape. And it puts a nice shape into your leaves. And then you can position one pinch twist on the top and one on the bottom of the leaf. Do the same thing over here. And make sure you let a puff of air out of your balloon before you tie it and it'll shape better for you. So there are my leaves. And now I'm gonna show you how to put the top on the balloon and put this in the ground. So you wanna take your half inch conduit, the part that's uncovered, my leaves are on, I'm gonna put it in the ground wherever I want it, take a hammer, and we're gonna pound that in.
get it in there pretty good so it doesn't come out and make sure this part isn't sharp you can cover it with another piece of tape or an inflated balloon and then we're gonna fix our leaves and put the top on just take an uninflated balloon and wrap it down through the center of your flower petals and then we're going to we're going to pull this one way and then just crisscross it back and crisscross it again and we're going to tie it in two knots. So one, two, can you see? And then we're going to cut off right above this knot and that's going to sit real nice for you. And it's Thanks so much for watching and happy twisting.